Hi, and welcome to my video on part two in my series of how SagNav Power Up can help you enhance your Thinkific customer experience. Uh, in this video, I'm going to continue where I left off from my previous video to show you the additional features um, that SagNav has to help you enhance the All Courses page. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description below and you can check out more about the power-ups from Thinkific expert Rob Galvin. Uh, so one of the things that I wanted to mention is that, um, as a reminder, SideNav sort of works on the All Courses, which is your public page, and then also your student dashboard uh, page as well. And so the idea behind uh, customizing this is because oftentimes the experience that uh, people have when they land on these uh, pages is very kind of cookie cutter. Uh, there's a default, you know, look in Thinkific and SideNav uh, really kind of helps you sort of enhance that look so that it feels more personal to your customers. It feels more personal to your brand and it doesn't look like any other site. It, it feels very uh, unique to your site. And so uh, one of the cool things about SideNav is that it can really uh, make a difference in the whole um, layout. Uh, because if you think about how customers land on your site and interact with your site, um, that navigation is super important. And that's sort of where SideNav comes into play. Uh, so I'm going to uh, continue with this demo and show you sort of um, some features um, that I didn't get to in my last video. So you remember, you'll want to always go into your site builder. So under design your site, go into site builder. And this is where you can customize the pages and the all courses and the student dashboard pages are all considered default pages. So if you look under default pages, um, move this around, you'll see the all courses and student dashboard. So for the purposes of this series, I'm going to continue where I left off with the all courses page to sort of show you two different aspects of how you may want to enhance the public facing um, layout and then also the um, student dashboard, which will be uh, in the next uh, series next week. So hopefully uh, you can come back and check out the student dashboard uh, video next week. So uh, in my last video, I left off with the side nav menu. So I'm just briefly sort of show you that each of these different sections uh, that I've added can be customized in terms of color, in terms of tech and text um, layout and, you know, like color and uh, text font. Um, and so, uh, that's sort of what makes this really unique and it really something to think through. It's not something to rush into. So if you are a Power Up Pass member, uh, don't rush into installing all these different Power Ups. I think the most important question is to ask yourself, what problem do you want to solve? What objective do you want to accomplish? Um, because SideNav works differently um, with um, each business. And the idea is that it can be tailored to each business. Uh, and then in the last video, uh, there has been an update to SideNav where it now works in conjunction with Flix. Um, but I'm going to sort of wait uh, till there's another update to sort of show you um, before I make a video on the update with the SideNav and Flix. So if you are a Flix, you have Flix installed and you want to install SideNav, uh, keep an eye out for a video where I'll sort of cover why you may want to use SideNav and Flix. So um, as you can see, I customized uh, slightly uh, last week um, the side nav menu. So it says all courses and then each category in terms of heading can be customized. And then now I wanna go and show you the cards. Um, the, I added the card section and the banner slider section. And so uh, you can always, uh, these are the other two components of the side nav, and you can always go to add section and add cards, you can search cards and it'll show you cards and it'll specifically reference that this is the side nav power up. And then same with the banner slider. So I wanna go over this cards feature because you might be wondering like, why would I wanna use cards or what's the purpose of the cards? So the interesting thing is that each of these um, cards can be installed on uh, installed or added 
two different pages, but I'm going to, um, the idea is really that each card can sort of customize and tailor this look and feel. And so with this card, um, there's really not too much um, because we're really talking about the all courses page. Some of these um, cards are really designed for upsells so that when you are selling a membership or you're selling a course, then you can sort of tailor it. So that's why the courses, uh, the cards here in this section on the all courses page doesn't add too much. But the cool thing is you can always change the heading. Um, so the default will always say my courses, um, but you can always change that to say my learning experience or my learning journey, uh, whatever works for you. And then it'll automatically pull the categories that you've set up as a uh, from the manage learning content section, you have categories where you can organize your courses. Um, and then filter headings. So this is, there's really not too much in this all in this cards um, section when you add it to the all courses because it's really designed for upsells and kind of tailoring the look of your site when you um, have students enrolled. But the Cool thing is that uh, even though you can click search uh, show filter settings, the only uh, these don't really um, do much for your site, but the search feature, which is will be at the top, still um, helps uh, so that students who are potential uh, students in your course who are searching for specific uh, courses can search and find out uh, what other offerings that you have. So as you can see, these are really relevant. And so that's why I say there's not too much going on in the card section when you add it, but it just kind of gives you some idea of sort of how it all works together. And then the same with this other um, section is that in this, this is all more uh, tailored to those who are um, selling uh, when you have students enrolled is that uh, it automatically will take students to either resume their course or it'll take them to uh, the landing page. So that's something to think about is when you are uh, customizing this, do you want students um, to see the resume where they just take them to where they left off or do you wanna take them to the landing page? It sort of depends on what kind of business, if your business is mostly memberships or whether your business is mostly courses. And then um, the other thing is, uh, all these sorts of text is really designed for when the students are in the course. So that's why um, it doesn't make too much of a difference here. So, but I just wanted to sort of show you that because when you see all these start course, you can change uh, the text so that it can say start my learning path or resume my learning journey. All this text can be customized later uh, when the students are enrolled. Uh, but I want to show you the cool thing with is really the banner slider. And so you can see um, when I let's just go back and delete this for a second. So you can see what it looks like before. So this is the all courses page before and the search feature remains here so that students can uh, always uh, search for specific courses that they remembered getting an email about and check out the landing page. But the thing was uh, the top navigation is what I just added. So if I go to the sec add section and I look for my banner, it adds my banner slider at the top. And um, this is where I can customize uh, where I want the banner to go and uh, the style. And so this is the banner and then I can uh, now see that I've added it to the top. Now I wanna click just save to sort of talk a little bit about why you may want to do this. And so um, the neat thing is that this banner sort of enhances the look of your all courses page. So typically when uh, people are on this, they just see your collection of courses and the different offerings that you have. But by adding this top navigation um, banner, you really can um, make this all courses page a little bit more of an upsell and more uh, of an experience that really takes students into a checkout page. And so like all the text can be customized instead of saying, click me, say, um, you can say click here, whatever language you think that sort of points uh, people and gets them to uh, take that call to action. So you say click here and you can say, um, instead of learn more, you can say um, uh, more information or more content, whatever you think. Remember the language is really what resonates with your uh, potential customers and users. And then, 
that each button can then be taken to a specific page. So let's just say you want the call to action to go to the landing page. So you can say you want to really focus on the checkout page for a specific course. And I can pick one here so that, you know, if this is something that I really want to focus on, it's my like flagship course, then I can say, click here for my flagship course or more information. This you could take them to your like um, Facebook page or you could uh, me Facebook group or a Slack group link or Discord. So I'm just going to put uh, Facebook because um, just as an example. So then I'm going to click save. And then when people um, click these links, this will take them to your flagship course. And then this other link will take them to your Facebook community so that if they're just browsing around, um, this kind of nudges them. And so if you can say more information, um, uh, join uh, my community. And then that's also sort of another hint to say, you know, instead of just abandoning the page and what we call churn, um, this sort of takes them to buy and then this takes them to your Facebook community. So that's just one uh, example and this picture can be customized. Uh, the banner here, I have, this is the default, but you can always go to upload and upload your own image from Google uh, Drive or Dropbox, um, but you can also uh, uh, take them to a link to Facebook, Instagram, or if you have your image hosted online, then you can paste in the URL. But I uh, recommend uh, uploading the file so that it's hosted within Thinkific instead of an external site. Uh, that kind of prevents problems later on in case um, the hosting site goes down and then your banner doesn't show up. It looks kind of unprofessional or it looks a little, you know, uneven, uh, inconsistent, as I would like to say. So uh, that's just sort of the idea of sort of taking this all courses page and really um, adding more to it. So uh, remember also in the style section, you can customize the uh, text color overlay and sort of like, you know, how how much of the um, image uh, in the background you want it to show up against the text. So there's a lot of different features um, that's important to consider with your team uh, designer or whoever's on your team that helps you think through the brand look overall. And then the last thing I want to show you is the um, that the course cards section. Uh, the other thing that's really neat is that these cards uh, you can do. Um, so right now you see they all have a text uh, over the image, but what you can also choose from is you can choose image only. Uh, so if you have an image that has the text on them, uh, then you don't want to have the text overlay, but then you can also have the text under the image. And that sort of gives you a lot of different options, uh, as I said before, to sort of think through what is best for your business and then the text overlay, which is the text over the image. Um, so there's all these different sort of um, options that you can use to sort of customize um, how it looks on the all courses page. And then I'm gonna click save and then uh, quickly log out and then show you what it looks like um, as uh, someone who is uh, just landing on this all courses page. So now I've logged out and now you can see what it looks like as a public uh, user, what it would look like. So this uh, is how I customized it from the last few videos where I want the, where I wanted to display my categories of courses. So I like to sort of uh, think about it in terms of like learning categories, learning tracks, learning experiences. And then I, I have this where you I sort of, as my call to action, sort of nudge people to join my Facebook group and then watch a video to sort of hear more about my approach to teaching uh, this specific subject. And then this is my, uh, this is the one I showed you earlier, the banner slider, it can be customized. You can add more banners and images if you want. Um, it really just depends on how uh, you want to sort of tweak the look, um, how you think like people are interacting if they spend a lot of time on here, on this page, or if they're just leaving because they're not getting what they're looking for. And then the search features you saw, and then this is the cards where it just sort of, um, 
I can have different sort of displays of the text over the uh, image or I can have it under. So I hope this video helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and then come back next week where I can show you how Flix and SideNav works together um, and why uh, some businesses may want to use both. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.